from your perspective, what do you think the finance team of tomorrow might look like? And what sort of skills do finance leaders need to be thinking about and considering like now and, and looking to hire for now? Yeah, it's, it's a like, it's obviously like a massively interesting topic, isn't it? In terms of what, what that looks like. And I guess I can, I can only really go off the finance leaders that I talk to and have talked to and continue to talk to in terms of what, what they're, you know, what, what they're demanding of us and, and what they're asking of, of us and some of the things that they're interested in, in looking at. Um, you know, I think look, undoubtedly there'll be a continued drive to see more value add from finance. I think COVID really showed what a great finance department can offer to a business. And if you get that right, is the, is the heartbeat really of, of the kind of business and, and really enabling a lot of other functions to go and do what they need to do. And actually just the role in, in driving profitability, reducing costs, all that sort of stuff, you know, really remaining competitive in, in marketplaces where, you know, over the next few years, obviously spend, you know, costs are going up, consumer spend is, is, is challenging and, and therefore, people are going to have to look at more innovative ways to to drive out good profits and and, and good returns Um, and therefore undoubtedly there'll be more technology and and systems investment you know as I said those manual perhaps expensive error prone tasks are going to be the ones that will be more and more replaced by you know technology Um, the AI topic that you made is is a really interesting one because we have seen it over the years around some you know some bots that can do stuff and you know, there's there's some big professional service firms now that are investing a lot of money in, like you know, we were talking to PwC uh, last year about some of the stuff that they were doing from an automation perspective. It's really really interesting mm. what they can do, but you, you feel like you're only on the on the cusp of it at the moment. That it's just going to absolutely explode over the next five to ten years on on what yeah. AI and, and and you know broader technology can do for businesses. Um, mm. and, and therefore, I think. You know, a big thing to, to come back to the point I made at the beginning, right, around more and more SME business owners are coming to us and saying, look, we need to modernize. We, we, we need to get into the 21st century. I, I think, you know, people are now starting to think, right, I really do need to, if I'm not already, I need to be more technologically enabled because if I'm not, that adaption, ad- adoption curve for AI and all that really, really interesting stuff that's going to come yeah. becomes steeper and steeper. That if I've still got someone sitting there manually reconciling a set of accounts and a set of payments, then like it's going to be it's going to be really difficult if I've not got real time data to do and embrace AI, which is going to have a real impact on the profitability and you know whether my business continues to survive or not. So that that I think that will continue, and you'll see some businesses that. That really embrace technology and try some really cool and innovative things and, and I think you'll see more and more businesses continue to move towards mm. tech adoption and um, automation and, and more value add um, and, and I think those that don't will get left behind you know a yeah. bit like when you look at that kind of e-commerce boom and you know, Woolworths going under and high street struggling and e-commerce retailers really really thriving i think we'll see that across a lot of different sectors that if you don't embrace it then you don't embrace that change then it's going to be really difficult to to survive 